Well, it's been an early morning shower. We were pretty much fairly dry, but unfortunately, the clouds did have the upper hand tonight. That's because of this stationary boundary just to our south that has been providing us with a little bit of moisture out there, enough to give us some clouds, but not really enough to really give us any real significant rainfall. In fact, we probably won't really see any real the heavy stuff until about Tuesday or Wednesday or so. And actually, what who has been getting the real heavy stuff out in Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma? They have been getting rocked once again today from this cold front and it's been producing a lot of severe weather. You can see multiple tornado reports. I was watching live coverage out in Oklahoma City online and it has just been incredible and unfortunately there have been some deaths reported and just absolutely incredible. Hail is also as big as tennis ball size that's two and three quarters in diameter have been reported in wind gusts upwards of 60, 80 miles per hour and with these tornadoes I mean, you could see wind gusts anywhere from upwards of 100 miles per hour. So a very dangerous situation, and it will continue once again for tomorrow. Here's what the Storm Prediction Center is having as far as the convective outlook for tomorrow, which means the risk of the severe weather. Now, notice we are in the green. That means that we do have a risk of seeing some, some thunderstorms, not severe. I mean, maybe a strong one popping up here and there, but tomorrow looks very minimal. Again, the heaviest will be off to the Midwest associated with that cold front that is out there. And and eventually this will try to make its way into our region, but that won't be for another couple of days. We probably won't have to really deal with any real the heavy, strong stuff until about, say, Wednesday or Thursday. So temperatures. That's the big story that we are seeing the next couple of days. You know, today was on the cool side. We only got to about the lower 60s. Out in western New York, they got up into the 70s to near 80, especially up by Rochester. Lucky them, they saw the sunshine. But notice the warmer temperatures not too far off to the west. We're at 75 in Chicago, 71 in Detroit. Kansas City, 63. And this warmer temperatures that will start to make its way into our neck of the woods starting tomorrow. Not too bad right now. Very mild night. We're at 56 degrees in Binghamton, 63. Elmira, Syracuse, 61. Rochester, 69. Still in the 70s out in Buffalo. And that's because of that cloud cover. It's really not allowing any of the any of the heat that from today really being released up into the atmosphere. It's acting like a blanket and keeping us on the mild side for tonight. So we are socked into the clouds once again. Most of the moisture, any of the rain is way off into New England, over in Vermont, New Hampshire. And that will be the case for most of the night tonight. Again, we can't rule out a chance of a sprinkle or spotty shower here and there. Tomorrow so far looks fairly dry in the afternoon. If we see that sunshine, that could you know, pop up some of those showers and thunderstorms with that instability. So we'll keep an eye on that. But, you know, it will be very unstable for the rest of the week, a little unsettled. So, you know, it will help when you leave for work and school tomorrow to have that umbrella handy just in case, especially because as the week progresses, we will see an increasing chance of seeing those scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially by the afternoon. So for tonight, we're looking at temperatures not too bad, 56 degrees, so in the mid-50s for tonight, mostly cloudy. Maybe a sprinkle. Can't rule that out. And then for tomorrow, look at this. We are up near 80 degrees. It should be mostly dry. But again, can't rule out a chance of seeing those scattered showers, you know, a pop-up shower or thunderstorm. So just keep an eye on that. Doesn't look severe by any means. Again, we're going to keep an eye on that for later in the week. For tomorrow night, not too, too bad. Temperatures right around 60 degrees. Again, chance of a shower. Can't rule that out once again. And we will be right back with a five-day. I think you'll like it, especially if you like summer. So again, for tomorrow, you know, there's not a huge risk of a shower, but it's still there. So if you want to grab an umbrella or even a light raincoat, it's good to have it on hand, especially in your car for later in the week, because on Tuesday, we will have an increasing chance of seeing some of those showers and thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon. But look at these temperatures, 82 degrees. This is the first time we've had a risk of getting up to 80 degrees so far this season. I know I am liking that. But also, if we see some sunshine, that sun is strong this time of the year. So remember to have the sunscreen on to prevent any real bad sunburn, because we all know that does not feel good. On Wednesday, we will see a better chance of seeing some showers and thunderstorms, 83 degrees. We dropped down a little bit on Thursday. That was when we will expect to see this cold front moving through. Notice the overnight lows will be dropping drastically from Wednesday to Thursday, about 10 degree difference. And then once again by Friday, you can really see where this cold front pushes through. Temperatures will drop down. And so far at the end of the week and the start to the Memorial Day weekend looks pretty good so far.